Yolkup and my fellow and my fellow brothers and sisters, you have screwed up royally. I am Jesus Christ, I have come again, and I am sick and tired of my faithful attempting to use illogic and irrationality to convert those who are out who those wayward sheep back to my flock. I am the shepherd, that is my job. You are to spread the good news. The good news entails that you spread about the faith of my salvation. You do not spread about the fact that if they do not believe, they are going to go to hell. Did I not say unto you, take the beam out of your own eye before you take the splinter out of your neighbor's? Did I not tell you that a follower of mine will obey my commandments? Did I not tell you to love one another as I have loved you? Loving your neighbor implies that you try to that you find a way to convert them over rationally and you find a way to convert them over properly. Do you want proof it is I? Allow me to demonstrate. Two caps here. Pay close attention. Father, if it is your will, I implore you, please make this cap, the left cap, transfer from my left hand to my right. Do you not see? But let me remind, let me draw from another instance. And no need to go search for a Bible or even recite. Here, let me demonstrate it for you a little bit more clearly. I will create my own word out of thin air. A convenient little way to help me demonstrate it to you particular faithful who will refuse to believe that I have returned. Let me draw from a particular part where I dem had a particular instance with Peter. But the boat was already a long distance from the land, and battered by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth of the night I came to them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw me walking on the sea, they were terrified, and said, It is a ghost, and cried out in fear. But immediately I spoke to them, and say, saying, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said unto me, Lord, if it is you, command me to, uh, to come to you on water. And I said, Come. And Peter got out of the boat and walked, toward, uh, walked on the water and came toward me. But seeing the wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately I stretched out my hand and took hold of him and said to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When the wind stopped, I got back into the boat. Now, let me say, that's just a little example. Now let me read again how I dealt with the Pharisees. I don't want you faithful repeating their mistakes. There is a reason I said and did what I did when I was alive, when I was back 2,000 years ago. is because I wanted to make sure that the scripture was not being misinterpreted by the scribes and the Pharisees and convincing the faithful to go astray from their faith thanks to a literalistic interpretation or not using proper means to convey to fellow faithful or to the unfaithful. I will again point out what, I, uh, what happened. Then the Pharisees and scribes came to me from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples uh, break, break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat bread. And I answered to them, Why do you yourselves transmit the comm uh, commandment of God for the sake of tradition? Do not use appeal to tradition fallacy or any other sort of fallacy for that matter. For God said, Honor your mother and your father. He who, uh, and he who speaks evil of father or mother is to be put to death. Yolkup, who in particular I am posting this video for, you have spoken evil of your fellow brother Christians for not ha uh, you have spoken wrongly of them for having attempted to not hurt people's feelings by saying that they are going to hell. They can be made of that fact, aware of that fact when they go to read the Bible for themselves. You talk to your, you talk to those, those wayward sheep by showing them the signs of logic and reason which I have posted out all over the place. By pointing the wayward signs 
and by blo- and by bu- uh, bleeding, the sheep will be made uh, the wayward sheep will be made aware of where the flock is, and then I will come out uh, being aware. And when they respond, I will come out and I will bring them back in. Until then, you leave it be. Allow me to go again. But you say, whoever says, uh, uh, continuing uh, when I spoke to the Pharisees, but you say, whoever says to his mother or father, what ha- whatever I have um, uh, that would help you has been given to God, he is not to honor his mother or father. And by this, you have uh, invalidated the word, of, um, the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You, hypocr- you hypocrites right, uh, rightly did Isaiah the uh, prophecy of you. The, uh, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. But do not, wor- but they, in vain they do, do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. After I called uh, to the cr- um, after I called to the crowd to hear me, I said to them, "Hear and understand. It is not what enters the mouth that defiles the man, but what proceeds out of it that defiles the man." You do not use appeal to tradition under any circumstances. You do not use literalistic interpretation or attempting to twist the scripture for your own words. You do not twist my word in the hopes of trying to fear, to use fear and incitement in order to be able to bring wayward sheep back. I came in the hopes of showing love and mercy. I died on the cross to save you from your sins, so this way you might live by my example. Instead, what have you done? You have done nothing, but you have spoken vilely of your fellow uh, of your fellow uh, brothers and sisters and me. You have, on top of that, demeaned uh, fellow. Um, you have, on top of that, demeaned other atheists. I have uh, demeaned atheists and others, as such. Why am I making a video response as opposed to coming to each of you directly? I am speaking in a method that you can understand in the hopes that you will be able to better understand logic and reason above all else. You point out the benefits of following me. You point out how I am the way, the truth, and the life, but you do not incite fear into them about going to hell. They will find that out more than enough when they read my work. They will find that out when they read what I said. You do not need to tell them directly. You simply refer them to the particular passages. They will find the rest of it in proper context. And by following it in proper context, they will be able to better understand what I, why I am telling them that they are going to hell if they don't accept me. But they are also to accept my teachings. They are to follow my example. If they are already following my example without accepting my name, they are already halfway there. You need to stress that to them about how close they are. It will make it a lot easier for them to come around. Speak to them in means that, I under, that they understand. I spoke in parables. I am speaking to you on YouTube now in a way that you will understand. Do the same to them. I have said my commandment, and this is the word of the law. This is the word of my Father as well. This is the word of my Father who is in heaven. You will obey. You will do as you are told. You will follow this through. I have already demonstrated why it is wrong. I have demonstrated it quite clearly before, and I'm saying, coming back to say it now. My, I will be coming again in full in another five years. This is a projection that you are seeing now. Do not fall for this problem again. I have spoken. Thus saith the word of God.